Hello and welcome to the episode 269 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll touch upon a new residency for the Quarrymen, an overdose, and the release of Abbey Road. Let's start with a Quarrymen performance that took place on the 26th of September 1959. Ken Brown, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney performed at the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool, the club managed by Mona Best in her house's cellar. 41st night of residency at the Indra Club in Hamburg in 1960. The Beatles performed another four and a half hours tonight towards the completion of their first residency in West Germany. In 1962, the Beatles got themselves busy with two engagements in the same day. Both took place at the Carbon Club in Liverpool, the first at lunchtime and the second in the evening. It was the 40th time the lads had such a double feature from the beginning of their career. On the 26th of September 1966, Beatles manager Brian Epstein was hospitalized in London. The official reason given in the press release was a general routine checkup, but in fact, Epstein had long suffered from depression and anxiety attacks, exacerbated by his increasingly dangerous use of both prescribed and illicit drugs. Epstein was forced to cancel a planned visit of Spain to visit John Lennon on the set of How I Won the War film. As we have seen in episode 239, the depression and the drug abuse would eventually lead to the untimely death of Brian Epstein in 1967. Talking about 1967, as reported by the music press, the Beatles had a plan to release a full TV special centered on the Surgeon Pepper's album. A production schedule was put together and presented to the band today, showing that the idea was given serious consideration long after the press had stopped reporting on it. Anyway, apart from the editing work on Magical Mystery Tour, the Beatles were also busy today at the EMI Studios without George Martin. They completed a full remake of The Fool on the Hill with a basic rhythm track and all the overdubs completed between 7 pm and 4.15 am. On the 26th of September 1968, a mono-mixing session completed the work on Happiness is a Warm Gun, What's the New Mary Jane, Glass Onion and I Will, with the Beatles working at the EMI Studios between 7 pm and 1 am. John Lennon wasn't particularly happy about Glass Onion and added the tape loop prepared on the 20th of September to the mono mix. See episode 263 for more info on the loop. On his return, George Martin suggested that the song could be better completed adding string over dubs, and the tape was substituted with that. What's the new Mary Jane, a serious contender for inclusion in the White Album? ended up being released in 1996 on the Anthology 3 double album. Finally, in 1969, Abbey Road was released in UK. It was the Beatles' 12th album, the last to be recorded, but not the last to be released, as Let It Be came out in May 1970. Abbey Road debuted at the top of the UK charts thanks to the advanced sales, it remained there for 11 weeks, moved to number 2 with the release of Let It Bleed by the Rolling Stones, and then regained the top spot one week later, for another 6 weeks. The album sold 5 million copies worldwide in 1969 alone, the biggest seller of the year, despite coming out this late. In 1980, it became the first Beatles album to sell 10 million copies all over the world. This concludes our episode. If you want to be fab, you can do worse than heading immediately to www.simonmas.com support to see what you can do to make your love felt. Every little bit counts and every action on your behalf is extremely welcomed. Help this community grow, 
drop me a line, consider acquiring the extended version of the podcast and come back tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.